picture this. A perfectly formed human skull made entirely out of quartz crystal. Sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie, right? Well, such objects do exist and they're steeped in mystery and controversy. The most famous of these is the Mitchell Hedges skull, named after its discoverer. But where did this skull come from? Who made it? How is it crafted so perfectly with details that seem beyond the capability of primitive tools? And perhaps most intriguingly, why was it made? Today, let's delve into the enigmatic world of the crystal skulls, starting with the remarkable Mitchell Hedges skull. The discovery of the Mitchell Hedges skull is deeply entwined in the lore of exploration and archaeology. It's the year 1924, and we find ourselves accompanying British explorer Frederick Albert Mitchell Hedges on his journey into the jungles of what is now known as Belize. He was drawn to the region by stories of an ancient city, Lubantun, which translates to City of Fallen Stones in the Mayan language. Mitchell Hedges was not just an explorer, but an adventurer and a writer ever in pursuit of the world's enigmas. His adopted daughter, Anna Mitchell Hedges, was with him on this trip, and she is credited with the skull's discovery. Picture this, a birthday expedition on her 17th birthday, exploring a crumbled altar inside a Mayan temple, when her eyes caught the glint of something unusual beneath the fallen stones. That something was an extraordinarily well-preserved crystal skull, almost perfectly accurate to human anatomy. Anna claimed that upon holding it, she experienced a sense of indescribable awe. This was no ordinary archaeological find. It was a tangible, almost unsettling connection to the mystifying past of an ancient civilization. Or, as some skeptics might argue, it was a masterful hoax that would become one of the most controversial artifacts of the 20th century. The debate, it seems, is just as multifaceted as the crystal itself. Diving deeper into the rabbit hole of the Mitchell Hedges skull, let's talk about the skull's unique characteristics, a category it reigns supreme in amongst the known crystal skulls. This object of mystery is made from clear quartz crystal, also known as rock crystal, and its size nearly matches a small human cranium. Weighing in at an astonishing 11.7 pounds, the skull's level of craftsmanship is what sets it apart. It's a work of staggering complexity, even down to the minutest detail. The jaws, for instance, are detachable and fit perfectly into the upper cranium. This level of intricacy is a stark contrast to the more traditional fixed jaw designs of other crystal skulls. And let's not forget the prism at the base of the cranium and the lenses in the eye sockets, which create a surprisingly lifelike pair of eyes. But it doesn't stop at mere aesthetics. Its creator's understanding of the material goes beyond basic sculpting. The skull is pieced together in a way that respects the natural axes of the quartz crystal, which would have minimized the risk of the crystal shattering during creation. That's an understanding of crystallography you'd expect from a modern material scientist, not a civilization from over a millennium ago. Then comes the enigma of how it was crafted. Given the hardness of quartz crystal, the use of metal tools would have left discernible tool marks. Yet no such marks are found on the skull. It's as if it was magically shaped without any tools. This absence of tool marks has led to theories of it being wish or thought into existence, though that's a concept even more elusive than the skull itself. Now let's take a journey into the realm of speculation hypotheses and the wild wonderland of unbridled conjecture. As I mentioned earlier, there are numerous theories about the origins of the Mitchell Hedges skull. Some say it's a remnant from lost civilizations like Atlantis or Lemuria, while others suggest extraterrestrial origin. The Atlantean theory, for instance, suggests that the Mitchell Hedges skull, like the other crystal skulls, is a legacy left behind by the mythical civilization of Atlantis, believed by some to have been an advanced society with capabilities beyond our current understanding. Imagine that, a society so developed that they were able to craft an object like this without leaving a single tool mark. Fascinating, isn't it? Meanwhile, the Lemurian theory suggests that the skull was a creation of Lemuria, another legendary lost civilization reputedly located in the Indian or Pacific Ocean. Proponents of this theory believe that Lemuria was home to spiritually advanced beings who used quartz crystal for a variety of purposes, including healing, communication and record keeping. Could the skull be a relic of their high culture? Taking a quantum leap into the realm of science fiction, 
Some propose that the skull was left behind by extraterrestrial visitors. If an alien civilization possessed technology far exceeding our own, it could explain the seemingly impossible craftsmanship, right? Well, maybe. Finally, there's the more grounded archaeological theory that it is a product of pre-Columbian Mesoamerican cultures. The Mesoamericans, especially the Aztecs and Mayans, were known for their intricate carvings and detailed artworks. Yet even their abilities would be pushed to the limit by the creation of something as intricate as the Mitchell Hedges skull. Each theory, however fantastical, adds another layer to the enigmatic allure of the skull. It invites us to question, to wonder, and most importantly, to keep exploring the mysteries of our past, whether they be grounded on Earth or scattered across the cosmos. Ah, controversy. It's the spice that makes any mystery more tantalizing. And trust me, when it comes to the Mitchell Hedges skull, there's no shortage of controversy. Firstly, the story of its discovery has been called into question. Anna Mitchell Hedges, the one credited with discovering the skull, didn't actually mention the find until many years after the supposed event. Also, there's no official archaeological documentation or field notes that mention the skull's discovery. The absence of these records raises eyebrows, doesn't it? Moreover, questions have been raised about the skull's physical characteristics. Despite its remarkable detail, some skeptics argue that the skull's perfect prismatic finish could only be achieved with modern tools and techniques. In fact, a study by the British Museum suggested that the skull was likely carved using jeweler's equipment developed in the 19th century. This contradicts the idea that it's a product of an ancient civilization. Perhaps the most compelling criticism comes from the fact that no similar skulls have been found in any confirmed archaeological excavations. Most other known crystal skulls have been proven to be fakes, further casting a shadow of doubt over the authenticity of the Mitchell Hedges skull. To add to the intrigue, the skull's provenance prior to its discovery is murky. F.A. Mitchell Hedges, Anna's adoptive father, was actually in possession of the skull before the claimed discovery. He reportedly purchased it at a Sotheby's auction in London in 1943. It's a whirlwind of mystery, and while the allure of the skull tempts us to romanticize its origin, we must remember the importance of empirical evidence and methodical investigation. After all, it's the pursuit of truth that leads us on these thrilling journeys of inquiry, isn't it? Now, despite all the skepticism and controversy, the Mitchell Hedges skull continues to captivate us. There's something about an unresolved mystery, isn't there? It's like a puzzle that's missing a few pieces. Frustrating, yes, but intriguing all the same. Let's step back for a moment. We've pondered over the origins of the skull, marveled at its physical characteristics, and even dived into the whirlpool of skepticism. But what does this enigmatic artifact represent in the grander scheme of things? In one way, the skull is a symbol of human curiosity. We yearn to uncover the secrets of our past, to understand our roots. And sometimes, in this search, we stumble upon artifacts like the skull which defy easy explanation. They challenge our perceptions, pushing us to rethink and reassess our understanding of history. Moreover, the skull also represents the ongoing debate between belief and skepticism, between faith in extraordinary tales and adherence to empirical evidence. It's a testament to our eternal quest for knowledge and the hurdles we face in separating fact from fiction. Finally, the skull is a reminder of the rich tapestry of human culture. Whether it's a relic from a lost civilization or a more recent creation, it bears the marks of human craftsmanship, creativity and ingenuity. It serves as a mirror, reflecting our own preoccupations with mystery, power and the unknown. So there it is, the Mitchell Hedges skull, a prism through which we explore not just history, but also the human condition. It's more than just an artifact. It's a symbol, a challenge, a story. There is an undeniable fascination associated with the crystal skulls. They have permeated popular culture, appearing in novels and even Hollywood films. But why? Why are these skulls so important? Crystal skulls, including the Mitchell Hedges skull, hold a certain enigmatic charm. Their allure stems from the intricate craftsmanship they display and the mysteries that surround their origins. This combination captivates the human imagination, invoking a sense of wonder and curiosity. But their importance extends beyond their aesthetic appeal or the mysteries they present. These skulls encourage us to explore the realms of archaeology, history and even spirituality. 
They foster an interest in ancient civilizations and their cultural practices, pushing us to expand our knowledge and understanding of our shared human past. In the context of spirituality, many people believe that these skulls hold a special energy or power. They are seen as tools for healing, meditation and personal development. Whether or not you subscribe to these beliefs, the skulls do encourage introspection and a quest for personal growth. And let's not forget their role in stimulating scientific inquiry. The controversy surrounding the authenticity of the skulls has prompted rigorous scientific investigation. Techniques such as electron microscopy and computerized tomography CT scans have been used to study the skulls, leading to advancements in archaeological analysis. So the importance of the crystal skulls is multifaceted. They are not just objects of historical interest, but catalysts for cultural, spiritual and scientific exploration. These skulls continue to hold our attention, urging us to question, to explore and to learn, making our world just a bit more fascinating. So, what are we left with? The crystal skulls, especially the Mitchell Hedges skull, remain an enigma. They encapsulate the intrigue of archaeology, the allure of ancient civilizations, the contention of scientific debate and the curiosity of spiritual seekers. Whether these skulls are truly the work of ancient Mesoamericans, extraterrestrial beings or merely skilled forgers, one thing is certain, they continue to fascinate us, to challenge our understanding and to spur us on in our quest for knowledge. And as always, thanks for watching.